the return of John Jones UFC 247. We break it down right here, right now. Let's go. Welcome back, y'all. This is your boy, JG. Uh, we still, for the moment, exaggeration and experience, but we're working on some new things. we upgrading the channel. It's all love. I want to get into it right away, not take too much of your time. This is UFC 247, the breakdown. Um, John Jones, Dominic Reyes, Valentina Shevchenko, and Caitlin. Uh, Choo Choo Train. Choo Choo again. Choo Choo. Shout out to her. Let's get into it. And another B5 with the UFC, but that'll be at the end. I want to get into the two championship bouts that are taking place. Um, I think they're significant, and I think they're going to set the table for what's going to be happening moving forward in the UFC and in both those divisions, really, because uh, depending on how it shakes out, we could have some things changing or not changing so much. So let's get into the main event. John Jones versus Dominic Reyes. A lot of talk about... Is this it for John Jones? Is Dominic Reyes coming to upset him? Let me tell you, that's not going to be happening. I said that. So now you know my prediction. John Jones, by however the hell he gets it done. Let's break down Dominic Reyes and the hype. Every single time a guy wins like, I don't know, eight or nine or ten fights in a row, he's got to be the guy. But we have to assess, I don't know, his last several performances. So what has Dominic Reyes done to put himself in a position to be considered for a John Jones fight or even be considered to be the guy to up in John Jones, one of the best pound for pound fighters who ever stepped inside the octagon? Shout out to steroids. Um, um, Dominic Reyes. Undefeated 12 and 0 fighter. Who's he beat? Who he beat? Shout out to the Mayweathers. Um, Dominic Reyes has competed against recently Jerry Cannonier, stopped him, but since then Cannonier has gone down to middleweight, 185 pounds, and he's been dominating. So that's about. Then you look at the Vulcan Ustamir fight, that was a razor thin decision that that went the way of Dominic Reyes. Okay, cool. So you have those two victories. Then, man, shout out to my man Chris Wyman. Chris Wyman decides to make the career decision to move up from middleweight to light heavyweight, 205 pounds, and they feed him to Reyes off top. A dude who's, he's already a big light heavyweight, and you're talking about a guy in Wyman who was competing at 185 pounds. He had no business in there. One, for me, in my opinion, kind of off topic, Chris Wyman's just not going to be a light heavyweight. Uh, two, Dominic Reyes is already a, kind of a big uh, light heavyweight. So they go, he goes up, that's his first fight in the division, gets folded folded like a love letter in the first round and they call this a Dominic Reyes coming out party and I'm thinking why I knew that was going to happen that wasn't a shock at all you look at Chris Wyman in the last six fights that he's been in he's been stopped in all of them but one and the one victory came against Kelvin Gastelum I think by uh, submission but he's been knocked out brutally at 185 pounds five of his last six and then beat an out of shape Kevin Gastelum and that was his first fight at 205 pounds against Dominic Reyes, of course he was going to get stopped. He's been getting stopped over and over and over again. So with all that being said, those are the credentials, the recent credentials that make him eligible for a John Jones fight. And I think it's one of the things that when the UFC, or I guess I should say the fans of the UFC are ready for something different, they'll know anybody next. You know, I'm coming in, you know, 174 pounds, and they're going to be like, JG, he next for John Jones. If I knock out a couple bums, I might be next too. But we have to be careful of this. We have to look at the competition. A guy that's no longer in the lightweight division in Jerry Cannonier. Vulcan Usamir, who fought him tough. And really, I had him win in the fight. You guys go back and check it out. Let me know what you think. And then beating a uh, middleweight, Chris Wyman, with he has a name because he beat Anderson Silva. And then calling that um, Dominic Reyes' coming out party. Those are not credentials that get you ready for a John Jones. You look at John Jones on the other side of it, recently had a tough bout with the giant sledgehammer cat. He had the yopper. He got a, just a joint, a big sledgehammer. Um, his, name escaped, his name escapes me at the moment, but tough bout. Um, he has a stoppage against Gustafson, um, and then he beat the hell out of uh, Smith. Wow, what's his name? I don't know. Uh, I keep wanting to call him Ian. I know his name is not Ian. <laughs> 
But anyway, I digress. He's been fighting killers and, and guys with a bunch of experience and guys who've been close to the top of the mountain. So you have to factor in that experience into this bout. And that's why I make my early prediction and stated I have John Jones by however the hell he wants. Um, there have been some things circling around interviews and Twitter interactions and things of that nature about Dominic Reyes and I'm going to use boxing and this and the other. And all of that's great. I think that's fantastic. But until you're in there with some of the best fighters in the world, you just don't know what that's going to look like. They know because they've already been there. If you go back and look at John Jones resume, everybody's on that resume. Everybody is on that resume. Juice or not, everybody's on that damn resume. Those experiences mean something. So that's something that has to be considered. Um, shout out to Dominic Reyes for putting himself in a position to get a title shot, 12-0. Um, knocking out guys and, and looking impressive. But this is going to be one of the situations where John Jones comes away victorious. And we go, oh, okay, well, well, he won. He won again. That's John. And then we got to pick apart the performance because we're dissatisfied with the outcome. So that's probably what will end up happening. Shout out to both those fighters. Shout out to John Jones, 205 pound champ. Rumors that he might be going up to heavyweight to fight the likes of uh, Stipe Miocic. Shout out to Stipe. Uh, he's still got a heel up. Shout out to Cormier. He recently said he's not waiting around for anybody. So that that's love. He's already accomplished everything in the sport. Uh, champion, two divisions, multiple organizations. He's a man. So do your thing, Cormier. Um, Dominic Reyes, hey, you know, best of luck to you. Um, it looks different from in there. I can tell you that. It looks different. And um, I'm excited for the bout. I'm definitely excited for the bout. It's no disrespect to Reyes. I just think the reality of the situation is that John Jones is still young enough to the young hungry lion thing. This doesn't apply to him yet. As far as the opposition coming in and being so strong and so dominant and you the older guy and you got to get the hell out of there. That doesn't apply to John Jones. Not just yet. That day may come. Sure. But for right now, not yet. And he seems extremely calm, extremely motivated. And we've already heard, the, you know, Anthony Smith, that's his fucking name. We already heard, you know, what those com uh, those conversations are like, I'm different. I'm new. I'm coming forward. I have power. I can stop guys and do all the extra stuff. OK. All right. Let's see it. You got it. Let's see it. I'm saying you don't. <laughs> Moving on to the co-main event, Valentina Shevchenko. Shout out Kyrgyzstan. And um, Caitlin Choo Choo Train. Choo. Got again. Choo. I don't know. Choo game proper. Anyway, about at 125 pounds for the strap, Val Valentina strap. And um, I think the co main and the main event have similarities as far as you've never seen a fighter like me. Everybody knows, but then you've never faced me. Then you get fucking stopped. And I don't see a scenario in where Caitlyn can get the job done against uh, the likes of Valentina Shevchenko. I just don't see it. Caitlyn, tall fighter, long fighter, volume striker, does use angles. I give her that. But, I mean, she's 2-1 and one in her last three. Well, lost to Jessica I. Um, split decision, albeit, but Jessica I got four folded by Shevchenko head kick folded her she had a braid her braid got knocked the fuck out that's what happened and then if you scroll down the ladder a little bit more you'll see that she has another loss this being uh, Caitlin against Liz Carmouche another person that Shevchenko dominated and embarrassed so you look at those kind of common opponents and you plug them in there and go oh okay what we're we gonna do it's a different style matchup but in the big moments against some of the better fighters I don't think that you know Caitlin has risen and, and we've seen Shevchenko just really look great. I mean, even the, the two Amanda Nunes fights are, are arguable. Um, they could have gone her way. And Amanda Nunes is beating the shit out of everybody. So that's on her resume. And then you look at some of the names that are on the resume um, of uh, Shevchenko. She has a Holly Holm on there, victory, counterpunch her to death. She has a Liz Carmouche, embarrassed her, dominated her. And then she has a Jessica I bout on there and the two men of news bouts. Um, she's just not messing around and she has a shit ton of experience and she's extremely well-rounded. That's the thing I think that's going to make the difference in this particular bout. And it might be the grappling that, that sets it apart because Shevchenko will dump a, a takedown on you. 
She'll sub you, she'll choke you, she'll armbar you. She is a well-rounded mixed martial artist, even though she comes from a Muay Thai background and she can strike and counter punch with the best of them. Volume and showing angles and, you know, switch stepping might not be enough because she's great in all those areas. So uh, to the Choo Choo Train, shout out to Caitlin. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, like Reyes, who's undefeated and, you know, be it against his, his climb up the ladder is hashtag questionable. But um, with Caitlin, I think it's just, damn, I, I don't mean disrespectful, but I think it's a name right now. Like I said, two and one in the last um, bouts. Um, the victories where I want to say unanimous decision, so shout out. And then you got a split decision loss to Jessica I, who Shevchenko folded. But I just think you're just next in line to get that work. Um, UFC 247, it's a it's a it's an okay card. It's okay. It's okay slash good card. You got two championship fights, and then you see one of the biggest stars in the sport, John Bones Jones, going in there defending his crown um, at 205 pounds against Dominic Reyes. Then Valentina Shevchenko, 125 pound champion, against uh, Caitlin Choo Choo Train. Um, but the rest of the card. A little bit lacking. Now, I'm not saying that every card the UFC needs to do has to be stacked from top to bottom. But damn, we you know show us some love. They got Latifi versus uh, uh, Derek Lewis. Hey, shout out to Latifi. You're getting stopped. You getting beat the hell up. You got beat up. He fought a friend of his recently and got beat up. I forgot who it was, but you gonna get beat up again. Shout out Derek Lewis. Um, and then uh, there's a featherweight bout I believe in there and another heavyweight bout. And it's just guys I don't even know. So. There's that. There's guys I don't even know. Um, so you got to look at that after you, if you're the UFC, you know, figure out a way to just sprinkle a little bit more on the cards, injuries, you know, big fights, matchup problems. I understand those things sometimes get in the way, but look out for the homies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you could do better, then be better. But that's all I got for UFC 247. I definitely look forward to it. John Jones, Dominic Reyes, the Choo Choo Train, Caitlin versus Valentina Shevchenko for her strap. Um, and let's see what goes down. Um, the implications are, are going to be dope. I think it's going to be an exciting card, especially the co-main and the main event. Once again, this is your boy, JG. Exaggeration and experience changes to come, but we back in the building. We had to take a little hiatus, but we back and we're going to uh, keep it rolling. We out.